Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over a UIL number sense test, the high school test for the Student Activity Conference, SAC 2021, which is uh, given actually in the fall of 2021. So this is actually for the academic year 2021 through 2022. And uh, just a quick note, there are 80 problems. This is a 10 minute test. All problems are to be solved mentally. Make no calculations with paper and pencil. Write only the answer provided. Start problems or approximate answers, approximate integral answers, and you get plus or, fi plus or minus 5% range on those. And so I'm gonna go through the first column on these problems and I'm gonna explain the steps on the side. Now you are to write only the answers, but I will write on the left margin just to show some of the steps or some of the shortcuts to highlight those for you. Problem number one, 283 plus 382, you could add the ones, three plus two is five, and then eight plus eight is 16, carry one, two plus three is five, and one is six, 665. Number two, they want the answer as a mixed number. So you have four fifths minus one half. Well, we need a common diameter of 10. So you're gonna have eight tenths minus five tenths. That would be three tenths, three tenths. And then three minus one is two. Now, if you have four fifths minus one half, what you can do is you can multiply two times four, that's eight, and five times one, that's five. Eight minus five is three, and your denominator is 10. Five times two is 10. So that's one way of doing that. But I'm only writing on the margins because I'm trying to explain for you. You cannot write on the margins. You can only write the answers down. So problem number three, 0.9 times 1.8 as a decimal. Nine times nine is 81 times two is 162. And since we want the answer as a decimal, you have one, two, two decimal places from the right. And so on this one, if you're multiplying nine times 18, remember that 18 is nine times two. So I did nine times nine is 81, and 81 times two is 162, and then move your decimal over two places. Number four, three-fourths divided by five over six. When you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So you're multiplying three-fourths times six over five. So that would be 18 over 20. And if you reduce that, that's nine over 10 or 0.9. It doesn't specify, so you could write nine over 10 or 0.9. Number five, you will have to do the order of operations, multiply and divide first, left to right, and then add or subtract. So I'm gonna have one times one, that's one. And I'm gonna have minus two plus three fifths. So one minus two, so minus one plus three fifths. So minus one plus three fifths would be a minus two fifths. Number six, nine times 87 plus 23 times nine. If I factor out a nine, I'm gonna have 87 plus 23, which is 110. 110 times nine is 990. So for number six, what I'm doing is I'm factoring out a nine and I have 20, 87 plus 23, which is 110. And then I multiply that by nine and you get 990. Three eighths is a decimal. I would recommend that you memorize that. That is 0.375. And if you want to remember, three eighths is between two eighths and four eighths. Well, two eighths is one fourth and four eighths is a half. So the average of those two would be three eighths, which is right in the middle be exactly 0.375. Number eight is uh, 36 times 25. And just think of 25 as being one fourth of 100. So one fourth of 36 is nine. Nine times 100 is 100. So think of this 36 times 25. When you see 25, 25 is 100 over four. And so what I'm doing is I'm doing four into 36. That goes nine times. Nine times 100 is 900. This is number sense. If you like number sense, hit the like button. 
Okay, number 16. Number 9 is 16 squared. 16 squared is 256. And if you haven't memorized that, there is a shortcut for that. Um, any number squared, pick a number uh, close to 16. So I'm going to add 4 to 16. And I'm going to subtract 4 from 16. 16 minus 4 is 12. And since I added 4, I have to take 4 squared and I have to compensate for that. So I have 240 plus 16, and that gives you the 256. Now, the easiest way is to memorize those, but you can do it this way. Okay, for number 10, that's the start problem, which is an approximation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round off 18 to make that a 20, make that a 20, and make that a 20. 20 times 3 is 60. And then I'm going to have 900 plus 1000 plus 2000. 10 plus 20 is 30, plus the 9, that's 39. So 3960 would be a pretty good approximation. It's right down the middle. You get plus or minus 5% on those. Now, for number 11, which is greater, 7 over 11 or 11 over 13? If I cross multiply 11 times 11, that's 121. And 13 times 7, that would be 91. So 121 is larger, 11 over 13 is the largest fraction. Um, find the greatest common divisor for 48 and 80. So if you subtract these two, the difference is 32. And 32 doesn't go into 80 or 48, but factors of 32 will. The largest factor of 32 other than 32 is 16. 16 times 3 is 48, and 16 times 5 is 80. So for number 12, the answer is 16. 33 and one third is exactly, 33 and one third percent is exactly one third. So one third of 108, 108 divided by 3 is exactly 36. The arithmetic mean of 27, 36, and 45. At the mean is the average. Notice that 27 plus 9 is 36, and 36 plus 9 is 45. It turns out that 36 is the mean and the median, and it's the middle number, so the average there would be 36, since it's right in the middle. Uh, 1,023 divided by 9 has a remainder of blank. When you're dividing by 9 or by 3, Add up the digits 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3. That's 6. 6 divided by 9. That would be the remainder of 6. We're only looking for the remainder here. So for number 15, the answer is 6. So for number 15, 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. So the remainder was 6. Now, if this went over 6, let's say this had been an 11, then you would just subtract 9, and your remainder would have been 2. Okay. If you have any questions on any of these types of problems, just leave a comment and say, I need more help on remainder problems, or I need more help with prime numbers, or uh, GCD, or LCM, and I'll make some review problems for those. Number 6. If 6 pens cost $4.88, and 9 pens will cost blank. So 6 is to 9 is 48 is to blank. So I can reduce 6 to 9 by a factor of 3. Okay, so 6 pens cost 488 and 9 pens cost blank. So if I reduce by 3, this is a 2 and this is a 3. 2 into 488 is 244. And then 3 times 4 is 12, carry 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1. 732 is the correct answer. For number 17, the number of prime numbers less than 20. So how many prime numbers are less than 20? So you should know that the smallest prime number is an even number is 2. And you should know the single digit prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, and 7. So those are the first four prime numbers. There's also the next four would be under 20. That would be 11, 13, 17, and 19. So 
there are eight prime numbers that are less than 20. Okay? And that is the first column, and that's the first 17. Maybe I should go up to number 20 on this one. Uh, if you'd like for me to go through the first 20 on every test, let me know. Leave a comment on that. Hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, I suggest that you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as I will be uploading more videos like this. And that way you'll be notified when I upload them. Okay, so for number 18, 34 times 26. Uh, think of a middle number as 30. So what I really have here is I have 30 plus 4 times 30 minus 4. And so 30 times 30 is 900. And then 900 minus 16 is 884. And the outer and inner cancels. So it's 900 minus 16, 884. Number 19 is a special shortcut. And whenever you have a number plus its reciprocal, the answer is always going to be 2 in a fraction. So I'll write down the 2. Notice the difference between the numerator and the denominator is 3. So I square the 3 and I get 9. And then I multiply the denominators. 10 times 7 is 70. So the answer for number 19 is 2 and 9 over 70. Number 20 is a start problem. It is an approximation. So 918 times 1,023. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 20 here to make that 1,000. And I'll add 20 here. That's 938. I'll make it 940. 940 times 1,000. There we go. 940,000. And that is number 20. And I hope you've enjoyed these. Leave any comments, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next video.